There's a lot of buzz these days around artificial intelligence, and that's true for Evernote as well. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards, and today we're going to take a look at the latest AI upgrade in Evernote. Also, we're going to answer a question about archiving stacks and how I need your help. I'm a certified Evernote expert. I get to sit in on monthly calls with Evernote's team members so I can learn about new features and share feedback with them. I share all of that with you in these videos and in my free weekly newsletter. Sign up for the newsletter at daveedwardsmedia.com contact. AI Edit is Evernote's entry into artificial intelligence. It's been around for a fair bit of time, but they've tweaked it with a new feature. So when uh, Evernote first released its AI edit feature, it promised that it would continue to upgrade and improve it. Well, they've finally added something. Let's go back to uh, uh, the AI edit tool so I can kind of run you through all of the features if you're not using it. Um, if you want to use AI tool, now this happens to just be a blog post that I wrote uh, for my website, DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Uh, and if you want to use the AI tool, the first thing you need to do is to highlight uh, the text that you uh, want to manipulate. Then you come over to AI Edit and you can summarize the text into either paragraph, an extended version, or bullet text. And there it does that. You can copy that and then put that into your post if you'd like. You can also paraphrase your text. You can fix typos. Uh, you can ask it to help you write. Uh, this I, I found to be very helpful to me because oftentimes when I write a blog post, the toughest thing I have to do is to come up with a title. So uh, this is a nice feature here. Uh, you could translate it into uh, different languages. If you want to share something with uh, someone who speaks a different language than you. Uh, and then this feature is what I want to concentrate on, write as. Because you can write this as an email, but now the new feature is you can write a social media post based on the material that you've highlighted. Let's give it a try. And here it is. Uh, now all you have to do is copy it and paste it into social media. It has sort of summarized everything, but it added bullet points, which it numbered one, two, three, added some emojis along the way, and even did hashtags. Uh, if you say, eh, I don't really like that one, let's try that again, it will take a second crack at it, basically putting a few new emojis into the into the script. So this is the latest upgrade to AI Edit in Evernote. As I said, they promised to improve it. I'm not exactly sure that this is the upgrade that everyone has been waiting for. My guess is it will be of most use to content creators who, you know, like in this case, uh, want to tease an article on social media. I'm not sure exactly how much uh, benefit this will be to the average user of Evernote. But, you know, I'm hoping that this is just uh, one of many ways in which Evernote does expand its AI features. Maybe it's just me, but I use AI to help me generate ideas for blog posts and videos and uh, help flesh out ideas. Evernote's AI feature can't help me with that. I'd like to see Evernote expand AI to do more. Maybe it needs to partner with one of the companies that is solely focused on AI. What's your take on AI in Evernote? What would you like to see? Leave a comment below and I'll gather them up and share them with the Evernote team. Now we move on to a viewer question. E.G. wrote, in one of your recent videos, you spoke about how you like to take a look at Evernote and do some tidying up, archiving, etc. Related to this, my question is about archiving, but archiving notebook stacks. When I saw the spaces feature and began listening to you talk about how you archive, I thought, hey, this might be a place to archive all those less used stacks. But that didn't seem to be the case. So spaces is meant for people who want to collaborate. You can set up a space for 
each of your clients if you want. And then you can put notebooks or whatever material you'd like in here to share with individuals that you are working with. And you can, of course, keep this material in here for as long as you want. Uh, I think that the bigger issue that, that EG is uh, referring to is what do you do when you're no longer working with client A? And then he makes a reference about uh, storing stacks into some sort of an archival system. So let me show you what I do uh, and what I recommend. So I have stacks for the various areas of my life, which could include home and hobbies. And in a stack, I have individual notebooks. So a stack is a collection of notebooks. I can also have a stack for different projects. And when I am done with a project, I don't need to keep it into my stack for projects, but I don't want to lose track of it altogether. So I have created here an archive stack for clients for other work activities. And you could, cr uh, you could uh, create another one for personal uh, projects if you want. When I'm done with a notebook in one of these stacks, if this was then related to a particular client, I could then slide it into my archive for clients. It moves it from projects into my client archive. That's the way I use my archive system. It's still available to me inside of Evernote. It'll still be available in search, but it won't clutter up my projects stack or for that matter, any of my other stacks. I'd much rather have separate archives for different work activities. I hope that helps. Hey, speaking about help, now I need your help, everyone's help actually. So I've been producing these Evernote related videos, believe it or not, since the year 2020. Yeah, been a while. And I, I especially like to focus on what's new in the app, but I also like to provide help for beginners because it seems like every day there's people who are signing up for Evernote. It is a very well-respected app. Uh, I've even created a course called Evernote for Beginners to help people kind of get set up. But I keep getting asked for more, more help uh, than just help for beginners. So I want to begin producing a series of videos on just that. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to start a series that goes beyond the basics of Evernote. And that's where you come in. I need to know what should I include in the series? What would you like to know more about? What would you like to have known about when you first started your Evernote journey, got the basics done, but were ready to take the next leap? Um, maybe you want to know something about how you use something, uh, maybe something that confuses you. So anyway, I'd love your ideas. While you can post a comment below, I'd actually really appreciate it if you would just send me a quick email. That way it's easier for me to keep a list and work from that list as I produce these videos. So I want to launch the series in a couple of weeks. So I need your ideas right away if you don't mind. You can email me at daveedwards at outlook.com. I hope you're as excited about this as I am because I know there's a lot of people who are really waiting to take the next step. You know, kind of like what we did today with, with the AI tool, but there's so many more things embedded in Evernote that I want to make sure everybody knows all about. So I can't wait to get your ideas. Send them to me at daveedwards at outlook.com or leave a comment below.